going to kind of be skipping around a little bit because I'm not that great at editing, splicing, and all that fancy filming stuff yet. So here we go. Skip over this part. It's just her meeting her friend. The part we really want. She's struggling to support her daughter. So now she is trying to sell her artwork at an art exhibit. Do you want to touch it? Come on. Do it. This is the main narcissistic character, Walter Keene. It's $35. Very histrionic, very dramatic. Watch this part especially. You're better than spare change. You shouldn't sell yourself so cheap. Well, I'm just glad you like it. Oh, past that point. Your heart's in your work. What do you mean? Okay, he says, you undervalue yourself. Let me show you how it's done. She said to him, wouldn't you rather flirt with those other girls over there? He said, no, I like you, Margaret. How does he know he likes her? He just met her. Perfect narcissistic um, flattery and idealization starting up here where he automatically decides that he likes her without knowing her. You watch as we continue. He's going to move in very quickly into this relationship, which I've warned all of you about. Don't get into relationships super quick. Get to know the people. Here we go. Little girl, how would you like your portrait sketched by the world's renowned Margaret Albrecht, Queen of the Bay? In mere minutes, she captures you. Nah. What? Don't you wish this were you in this beautiful painting? But that is me. That's me. Mountain Star is me. The mother turned me into a Chinese boy. My apologies. I misconstrued the situation. Well, I better mosey along before Mr. Albrecht comes back and socks me in the eye. Mr. Albrecht is out of the Okay, I want to stop that there. This really got me where he says, I better mosey along before Mr. Albrecht comes back and socks me in the eye. That was a subtle way to find out if she was married or not, or if she was a single woman. He's crafty, and he's a shyster, and he's good at what he does. That is for sure. That was his way of hinting. You know, if I say this, it's going to get her to let me know. If it's just her or this other guy. He already senses that she's very gullible. Um, believe me, narcissists can sense that a mile away. They just do. I'm not saying that, um... I'm not saying that you have to be worried about every person you meet of being a narcissist. But I will say, if somebody seems like they're moving in very quickly, asking you a lot of questions about yourself, but revealing nothing about themselves, keep your, uh barriers up so to speak all right so next we're going to go to where mr keen is kind of bragging about himself talking about how he has all this experience that he really doesn't have as we know that's a narcissistic trait when somebody starts talking about how they're this or that but there's no commensurate knowledge or proof of it here we go Okay, I kind of skipped over that part. Sorry, I'm going to backtrack a little bit. Bear with me. Like I said, it's going to skip a lot here. 
So he moves from complimenting her on her artwork to taking her out to dinner. Now he did leave his wife, that part was true. Yeah. He did quit his job, I'm sure. Okay, red flag here on her behavior. I've never acted freely. I was a wife, then a daughter, then a wife, then a mother. She just gave way too much information to this guy that she just met. She didn't need to tell him all that. When you first meet somebody on a date that you hardly know, you don't tell them everything about yourself. That is not a smart idea. i um, not saying I never have because I fail that test a lot, but I'm just saying if you want to be on the safe side, don't reveal everything. Now she says all my paintings are of Jane because that's all I know. So she's basically letting him know that her daughter is everything to her. That's all she's ever known. So he's going to play on that later because he uses Jane to get to her, her daughter Jane. Okay, this I don't get. I mean, I get it, but it bugs me. He says, don't knock your work. You have amazing talent. How telling him that her paintings are of her daughter because that's all she's ever known, how is that knocking her work? She's basically telling him, you know, I paint what I know. I paint what's been my life. And he's saying that that's knocking her work. Right there he tells you where his heart is and where his intentions are, which is to use the paintings to make money. He doesn't care about people's feelings. He doesn't care about their relationships or their connections with their kids or anything like that. He cares about, well, you know, you have to be confident in your work because, you know, you, you need to be famous. You need to have money, whatever. Without saying it, that's what he's saying. Sorry for the camera shadow up in the top of the film here. I just noticed that. Okay, um, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit since we backtracked for this part. And we're going to go to, let's see here. Hmm, 133. Hang on just a second. I think that's the next part coming up. Okay, she says, Walter, I bet you can paint anything. Okay, she just gave him some narcissistic supply. So what does he know about her? He knows that she's easy. He knows that all he has to do is say the right thing, and she's going to be eating out of his hand and adoring him. Bad idea. So she's flattered him. I bet you can paint anything. Now watch his response. When you look at me like that, I could fall hard. Seducing. Mm, just met the woman, but now he's already falling hard for her. Very bad. Very, very bad. You don't fall in love with somebody that fast. You just don't. Not if you want a healthy, safe relationship. Not a good idea. Okay. Um, now, she catches on that things are moving way too fast here. She's going to say that. This is just moving really fast. Now she tells him she hasn't been on a date in a long time. Okay, now we flip to the next scene. I'm going to stop the videoing there and I'm going to continue on the next one. You get the drift though where this is all going.